you toy and collectible fans flag out for techsushi.com what do you think separated at birth no okay this is the Hot Toys rather large uh, Hulk and he's uh, huge absolutely huge the uh, six of the seven Avengers I've got to collect anyway and uh, there's the box art beautiful gold uh, sorry silver logo I should say on the front of the box with that embossed you can see that just shining there in the camera the Avengers logo on it with of course uh, Mr Hulk as we'll call him on the box on the front and we get the uh, radiation symbol on the side there again in that silver beautiful uh, chrome kind of paint and on the back of it is all the warnings and the designers and so forth uh, don't put Hulk up your bum etc that kind of thing don't eat it and all that jazz and that's pretty much it that's the packaging he's very um, uh, simple not Hulk himself but in terms of what comes with the figure he literally comes with one spare pair of hands uh, an open set of hands and that's it so the alternative hands is two fists so Hulk smash or Hulk Hulk like this so that's the box the packaging let's get a look at one hell of a size of a figure and here he is I'll give you a quick 360 first of all and then we'll try and zoom in on this thing a little more he's uh, very heavy so bear with me uh, it's an absolutely gigantic uh, Hot Toys so uh, it's uh, let me give you an idea here. here's one that's coming up in a, the next review so this is a 12 inch 1 6 scale figure and you can see the size differential there so at least a good uh, 4 inches taller um, and if we look at a standard old uh, Star Wars vintage figure there you go you can see the size of this guy absolutely massive so uh, we're going to need a bigger boat or bigger bellies in my case to accommodate this guy but he is pretty amazing in terms of the detail on him um, he comes with let me just see if I can zoom in just a little bit better there damn he's heavy oh good god somebody's even got a box or something put him on his box oh, there we go so um, in terms of the detail on him what he does come with is if I turn that round there you'll see one uh, removable head magnetic clips on there and inside is the pretty standard for Hot Toys uh, pairs uh, parallel eyeball ruling system that's called but it kind of looks like a Hulk in old middle age there with his uh, kind of a receding hairline and uh, just a little bit round the side so pretty cool so uh, that's the uh, pairs system that you get with the figure and the head just goes on actually looks a little bit like uh, Samuel L. Jackson there from Pulp Fiction but not quite as green uh, so the figure itself I got from the wonderful guys at shopforme.com.au they're an awesome bunch of dudes uh, they uh, really helped uh, DC and I get some uh, figures uh, recently so uh, puny other retailers shop for me they smash them they're really good shopforme.com.au definitely check them out we'll put a link below to them uh, but uh, this figure is exceptionally good now, it's kind of hard to see I'll try and see if I can load this up here a little uh, and we'll see no that's not going to help told you this thing's big so I'll try and get a bit of a, a much closer look up at his uh, teeth there because the detail on that alone is uh, pretty special the mouth it's very hard to see on camera it's very hard to pick up but uh, the detail just on the mouth and the facial sculpt the camera does not do it justice you get all these kind of um, well he's got hairs in his chest there and the, the ripples on the, the chest and kind of veins you can see popping from his uh, neck all the way down through his uh, chest there and on the back uh, typical kind of Hulk but it's the flesh like uh, material you can see there just reflecting in the camera on there which just makes it look incredibly realistic well as much as a Hulk can be now he's got his trademark kind of purple pants I have to say I don't know where Bruce Banner gets these pants how he can swell up to this size I do not know a little bit torn down at the bottom uh, and they look the part and they kind of cover the knee articulation joints which make a very satisfying click you can see there that the seams and the joints kind of click like so so it's an absolutely massive toy that way it's got articulation in these ankles as well so you can pretty much move the ankle it's kind of like a rocker ankle uh, throughout uh, he's got articulation at the tops of his thighs as well he's got a swivel waist and these massive kind of biceps and arms here you can see the seam quite clearly but it's done in such a way that if we look at this uh, piece up here the forearm there as I move that back it makes this click it's 
very hard to sound, but there you go. And it squeezes the uh, plastic membrane a little bit there. So it's not a join. It's basically got joins inside, and then there's a little bit of uh, space in between the seams just at the joins there. So uh, you can either get it looking fairly, oh, again, realistic, or if you push it too far, it's, it just doesn't look very, uh, it doesn't look too good, should we say. So you've got articulation on the wrist as well, which swivels round on a, a pivot pin, and the head as well, that moves round uh, on a kind of ball joint there too, so we can pretty much have Hulk smashing any way he wants. It's an absolute ton of a figure, a uh, fairly hefty price, I can't remember the exact price I paid for this, but it was a damn sight cheaper at shop for me than uh, most other places, so uh, I'll put a, a link down there, it's probably sold there by now, so... Uh, We'll have to put some links to some other places that you can get it, but uh, Hulk is an essential part of your Avengers Hot Toys collection, I would say. Anybody that calls these man dolls, and I hope you're listening, Eddie, uh, of this size, uh, Hulk will smash, so uh, be nice to them. So uh, it's a pretty amazing toy. As I say, there's the two hand versions there. You've got uh, this uh, version of the hand there, which is basically like uh, those old fashioned toys, there you go, there's Hulk having a cup of tea with his pinky out, um, there's wire in between the figures there and tiny small joints, you can just see the pins, see the little holes there? Uh, now you don't generally see them because you, when you bend the pinky, and I'll show you that again there, it kind of stays in place. So it allows the, it's, it's basically a piece of metal I think uh, on the, uh, the fingers there, but uh, I would imagine it's a pretty strong piece of metal nonetheless. All the detail there on the hands, these veins and whatnot. Hulk is big. He really is a big, big toy. It's uh, not for everybody, but uh, I thought it was an essential one. And DC and I picked one up and are very, very happy to get hold of this guy. So uh, we'll get a, a review for you at one point with all the uh, Avengers in the cabinet. And uh, we'll show you them all off. Mark Seven's on his way. So the Avengers is complete, pretty much. So... Uh, Look forward to that, but let us know what you think. Give Hulk a thumbs up, uh, or fist up if you, that didn't sound right, uh, a thumbs up if you uh, like this or not, and a thumbs down if you didn't. And uh, let us know, share it, whatever, leave a comment below. Is Hulk for you? Uh, even in the small end scale, I love the Hulk, the Marvel Universe one, I bought one of them from uh, Dorfsey Toys a while back. Just, he's a brilliant Hulk, and he's still on sale, so grab one if you can. But... Uh, this is Hot Toys. Let us know what you think. Comments below and you can join us as usual on our podcast, Tech Sushi Podcast, on this channel or uh, on Twitter, twitter.com slash techsushi, on Facebook, facebook.com slash techsushi, and we're also on Google Plus under Tech Sushi as well. And a great little bunch of peeps over there. Thank you for joining. We'll see you for more reviews coming up soon. Cheers.